Hey guys, so today we're talking planner tips. Those funny things sticking out of my planner up here, so to say, and how you can make your own. They're pretty easy, believe me. Um, but first, let me show you how exactly they look like. Okay, you can see here how they look on the back and how they look on the front. Pretty similar, just um, with a note on the front. And you basically glue them around a page, as you can see. So nothing too fancy and pretty simple to do. First of all, let me show you the measurements we're talking about. So the blender tabs that I created um, are three centimeters by 3.5 centimeters. I recommend just maybe pause the video and note down what I have written here or come up with your own measurements, basically. All right. What we need now is not much. So we will start off with a simple sheet of paper. You don't need much. Um, a triangle ruler and a pencil. So what I'm doing now is I'm basically just putting the measurements I've shown you previously on here. So I'll start by measuring this three centimeters. We can actually do more than one on this tiny sheet of paper. So we can do three, which is cool. Okay. Then with a 90 degree angle. And then 3.5, right, same on the other side. Basic setup. Now, just a few more lines we have to draw. And should you hear any strange noises in the background, it's um, the dishwasher that is running in the kitchen. Sorry. Alright. Yes, I could use a smaller ruler, but this one uh, will do. I actually have one in a smaller size, but um, to be honest, I don't know where I put it. <laughs> I've been crafting quite a lot lately and my place gets pretty messy when I do so. So it 
somewhere. So far, so good. Yes, um, there is a line in the middle, but this is just where you fold it. So this one's not on here. I uh, will now take some scissors and cut things out. And to make it as easy as possible, I'm starting up here. And that one, then what I'm doing is I'm folding it right away before cutting it out completely. Then I'm holding it together, taking some smaller scissors, and then I'm doing those corners. And this way it looks neat and tidy from both sides. And should there be some pencil, pencil visible in the end, you can just you know, erase it, of course. And then what I like to do is I like to go around the corners a bit. I think that looks cuter. Et voila, the first planner tab. And now I'm going to do exactly the same with the other ones. And then we have three planner tabs available. Again, cutting out the corners and holding everything together. I'll just quickly get over it an eraser so that the pencil lines are gone. Tap number one. Tap number two. And last but not least. You see, quite easy to do. But just in case you don't feel like crafting these um, on your own or you know with the whole construction thing going on, I've got you covered.
So, in the description below this video, you will find a link to a printable, to this printable. These are Planet Tabs printables that I created with pictures I took myself, so no copyright issues here. And all you have to do is cut them out, fold them, and you're ready to go. Let's do one together. I'll simply pick out the one up here. Um, they always come in two different um, versions, one without the white field and one with the white field where you can um, write down something because sometimes, I don't know, um, you just use a plain tab or clue something on there or whatever and sometimes you need to write something on there. So whatever you need, it's available. And just a tip, if you want things to last longer, package tape is your friend. So what I'm doing is I'm basically just simply going over with a layer of packet tape. And this one, this way it's basically... Um, more durable. Right. It's like laminated more or less. Okay, then I'm just quickly going around it like this just to get rid of the extra tape. And then again we're cutting around the outer edges. Fold it in half. Cut out the corners. And if you feel like, I normally do, round the corners as well. All right. And now all you have to do is glue them where you want them to be. And you've got pretty simple DIY planet apps.